Hello and welcome. It's Jill Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another pour. So uh, probably just a different composition again today. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And there's probably so many more interesting things on TV at the moment. Um, you choose to watch art on a YouTube channel. So that's wonderful. And I thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you. I've got some uh, lovely, delicious colours here. And I'm going to try and incorporate quite a few of them, but hopefully not too many. Can you believe it or not? I want to keep it kind of minimalistic, but you know, we'll see how that one goes because it never goes well for me trying to keep things minimalistic. So this was white paint mixed with metallic gold to just take it very pale grey with a, you know, because it's metallic, uh, not metallic gold, metallic silver. And because it's metallic, metallic, it's got this, you know, luster in it. So it kind of makes it, yeah, not quite white, very pale, pale, pale grey with the silver in there. So, without further ado, I'm going to coat, coat my canvas with this. So here we go. On the roll. So you can, everybody coats their canvas differently. You can use your fingers, which is absolutely fine. You can use a spatula. You can use a sponge. You know, um, this isn't, I know people say to me, oh, you used a base coat. It's just a coat, it's part of my, the composition, part of the, uh, the whole overall um, look that I want it because my canvases, when I buy them, they're pre-gessoed. So this one is a canvas and it's pre-treated. Single thickness camera, uh, acid free, where does it, triple coated, triple coated with universal primer. So that's what my canvases come like. So I don't actually have to put anything on to seal them. This is just what I put on the um, my base coat is just going to be part. Yeah, part of the whole pro my process, part of um, what I want to come out of this. So I'm not going to worry too much about my edges because I can do those as I go along. I can do those with my fingers. So. Here we go, here we go. So I hope you've all been keeping well. I hope you've all been keeping sane. So um, but if you're watching um, art on YouTube, then you're definitely on the sane side because it's far less stressful than anything else in the news. So uh, thank you, thank you for being with us. Righty, righty Oh, let me try and get that a little bit doesn't have to be perfect because the paint does self-level. There we go. So a different composition I'm trying to work on. So I've got some greens, <laughs> a couple of greens. So this is the green deep. It's a real dark green. I know you think, yuck. But I'm only using a little bit. Actually, that is a bit runny. I might have to add some more paint, which you can do if you find. So this is a global paint. And if you find your paint is just too runny and you know that it's going to be for the particular technique that you're doing, then, you know, don't push on with it. Stop and um, add some you know whether it's too thick or too thin add some more paint which I've just done or you can add some more pouring medium if it's too thick so that has thickened it up yeah just nice actually just nice so let's see if I can get this to work how I want it to work so it's kind of like a wishbone I suppose let's give this a go a wishbone, that's a dog bone, isn't it? 
Okay. I'm getting me funny bones mixed up. So hopefully it will start to make sense when the other colours go on. Yeah, it's not a crush hot colour, but um, obviously some people do like it. So this is the green light. It's like a real bright green. It has poured and poured with rain here today, so not a great day, I must admit, definitely not a great day, but it give me the, an excuse to spend all this time in my art room today, so I don't feel bad about that. This is a metallic silver, so a bit of this is going in too. And there is the gecko. Um, I can't see him at the moment. He's hidden somewhere in here because lots of people have told me or asked me, you know, let's see this gecko. But I have to come in here with a camera at night mostly because the geckos actually come out of hiding at night is when I see them. So they obviously stay well hidden during the day. Rightio. I'm going to really throw some. Um, out there now this is it isn't my berry delicious this one was just the magenta with phalo blue so it is a deep berry color but if you wanted it to go the real cherry berry delicious then you would add a um, bit of black to it only a spot then it goes a real black cherry look You're thinking, what the heck is she doing today? She's gone right off crazy. <laughs> but bear with me. It was an idea in my head and it may not come out. So I'll just try it. This was the warm red. Oh, I think I've got well and truly enough paint in there. Now, probably would work better if you could put your paints into a squirty bottle. Um, yeah, putting your paints into a squirty bottle may work really well. Um, I am going to... This is just the Amsterdam White and Floetrol, so I am going to squirt, I pre-mix it, put it in the bottle so I can use it, squirt it out. So I'm going to put a bit of that in there, the white. I've got all sorts of colours I could use here, but I'm going to have a little bit of restraint, just a little bit today. Um, Rightio, do I or don't I? Yes, I might just use, see what blowing some of these areas out look like.
a few little blows. So much cool lacing coming up on the close-up photographs. I'll show you that. Uh, right, I do want to. I've got some. I've just got um, Amsterdam black. Where is it? This one. Lamp black. Just speaks with Floetrol only. Just find the swipes. Um, other colours do work, I mean, other paints do work, but not as well as the um, Floetrol. Just trying to find whether I use a stick. I might use the stick. Let me see if that works. Just to bring a few nice wispy bits out. I might need to use a card. That seems to be going okay at present time. Wow. So you kind of get my drift with this particular composition. I wanted it, yeah, just something. I, you know, same but different. Same but different. So it's just dipping, dipping your, well this is just a lollipop stick, dipping it in and um, swiping it, then I'm, the, the bit on the back I'll use turnover, but then wipe it off because if you just keep dipping it in that's when you'll get mud, 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 mud and more mud. But I'll bring you in close because this it just gives the most amazing, amazing uh, cells, bringing all the colours up in the um, swipe. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't think I've used the greens for a while so they're not my favorite color for whatever reason oh yeah I used to have to wear green bottle green to school wasn't my favorite back then one more tendril one more um, Aussie swipe Aussie flow troll, so and it's swiping, so hence an Aussie swipe and an Aussie slide is with the card. So, so I am going to, of course, it wouldn't be a jelly pour if it wasn't with a balloon. Oh, I obviously do do lots of other work with balloons, but um, you know that I love balloons as my tool of creation. So, have fun with your balloons. Let's see, maybe too wet. Ooh, look at that, looky, looky. You could absolutely be pressing those onto another canvas, but today I'm not. Wow, 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 wow. If you find the colors are falling in, either walk away and leave it for 20 25 minutes even longer or wipe your balloon off come back and push back into that same balloon kiss and re-kiss i'm just going to put use that big balloon there i'm not going to use any more of the big the light well the larger balloon remember you hold it in the belly button that is gorgeous 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 um, and then I'll get my smaller balloon. There we go. Yeah. So it's just a little bit smaller. What have I got dripping on my feet? Oh my goodness. There's a lip. Oh, I've just tipped a whole thing of paint over. And it's. <laughs> I wondered why my feet felt cold. <laughs> oh, I've got green feet. Can I lift them up? I can't even lift them up over the table. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just going to carry on. The show must go on. I've got green feet and all. 
Okay, I get my smaller balloon and just push that in the centre of those bigger balloon kisses. And it just gives the most stunning, stunning effect. Then I just give a few more kisses here and there, just a tiny few. Obviously, you can go overboard, and I usually do, but you know what? The effect is gorgeous. So you can either leave it at that, you wait for it to dry off a little bit more if you're having trouble with your balloon kisses, if they're falling in. But you know that's just gorgeous that is really lovely happy happy jane okay beautiful and i've got my real little balloon that i could push again but i think that that's just perfect that is perfect so what do you think of that composition, people? I think it's pretty cool. I like it. And I better get, ugh, I better turn the camera off, bring my camera down to show you this and wipe my green feet up. So I will do that. Green paint on the floor. I knocked that green deep over on the floor green feet <laughs> wasn't good was it anyway look at this little beauty look at some of the detail in this solid solid sorry about the glare it is glaring back at you but oh this is just gorgeous look at those cells in these swipes isn't that pretty look at this and that one is just divine. It looks very, very, very attractive in that particular uh, composition, sitting sort of, you know, in the center of the canvas in a way, I suppose. So I hope you like this one today. Um, colors are a little bit, you know, putting some greens in there. Um, something a little bit different and of course, you know, it, different strokes for different folks, whatever you like. Your art room, your rules, your way. And don't forget that. So until tomorrow, guys, wishing you all well. I'll go wash my green feet and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Take care.